What's up, Capricorn? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Capricorn. Ooh. This happened in Sagittarius's reading. Okay, we'll, we'll mention that. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we're going to be looking at what or who is coming your way. Um, what you want to know, what you need to know. Somebody's thinking about you. A lot of things are reminding this person of you. Anyway, what you want to know, what you need to know, and advice. So, Capricorn, I feel like you're going to be working hard to get over something. It's been a bit of a struggle. It's been a lot of drama going on. A lot of you could be dealing with um, a fire sign, air, or earth sign. I think you're realizing that there's a lot of things that you can live without. Okay. Especially people or things that steal from you, that don't give to you. Be careful of thieves as well, in any form. Somebody can't be satisfied. Sagittarius energy is here. Perhaps that's a, yeah, it doesn't need for you to move on from something here. Sagittarius always gives me getting back on the right path, temperance, the will of fortune, keeping it pushing. It's someone that it's time for you to disconnect from this person. This, some of you could smoke, like, you know, this could be somebody you smoke with. It could be an Aries here. You can feel someone leaving you behind. Or maybe someone can feel you leaving them behind. Be careful of people who are with you for stability. It doesn't mean that you can't stand strong for someone. It doesn't mean that sometimes you might be down and I might be up and vice versa. And we support each other during those times. But sometimes when you're leaning on someone, they can, you know... They, People can hold things over your head a little bit. <sighs> don't fall for it. If somebody's dangling something over your head, don't fall for it. I think you found a lot of you or this person found a lot of positive things within each other and you kind of started to lean on that maybe it became um you two could have leaned on each other for emotional stability you know what i mean sometimes we get it so we get so attached to a person <laughs> but there's a part of this person that scares you but it's really not as deep as you think what is your intuition telling you about this situation or this person If somebody, if somebody or a situation comes into your life and starts throwing stuff off, then you tell me, Capricorn. There's a change. It's inevitable. It's coming. It's here. You're never gonna be ready. Sometimes you just gotta jump. You know, I'm, I'm a musician. I came out here to. Germany, it'll be five years next month. And um, <clears throat> back in the States, I did a lot of background singing jobs. I did a lot of studio work. You know, I was never up front. But when I came to Germany, they were like, you, you need to be headlining. And I was like, me? You know what I mean? I felt like, oh, this, that, you know, all these ways we tell ourselves that we're not ready to do something. And then I had my first show in Berlin. And um, I was so excited. I was so nervous. I was just, you know, you get so nervous, you just want to die. And I had a very nice dress. And my friends showed up. They were sitting on the front row. And um, what happened? 
So we did the show. We got through the first half of the show. We took a break. And the guy who hired me, he came up to me. He said, honey, you look gorgeous. You sound wonderful. But you're not talking to the people. You got to talk to them. I was like, I got to talk to them too? Because <laughs> I didn't know how to be a headliner. I didn't know how to be an entertainer. But, you know, of course, um, after the show... He gave me my money and he said, come back when you have more experience. And I said, ooh. And I cried on the way home and all of that. I am losing my good shoes that night too. <sighs> Life is, is difficult, you know what I mean? But sometimes you just got to jump out there before you're ready. So fast forward five years and um, I'm still here. This man, the same guy, he, he reached out to me. Cause you know you, you go through the mud, you you go through it, you 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 fail, you get back up, you dust yourself off, but you go, and so and you're a cardinal sign, you're all about the go. So um, <clears throat> fast forward, I think it was right before the pandemic, right before they shut all the shows down, and the same guy reached out to me. Hey. Uh, just wondering if you could make it out on the such and such of, I don't know, April, whatever. And I said, ooh, I'm booked. Let me see how that goes. Sometimes you just got to do it. You never know how it's going to turn out. It's not going to be pretty the first time. Like, you're not going to be ready. You're never going to be ready. Just press play. Okay. Go. Capricorn. Brighter days are ahead. Okay. It might be the name of your reading. So, this is the song that's playing now. I feel like there's been a lot of reflecting going on. You, um, also there could be a Scorpio in your life. Anyway, what you want to know, you may have been thinking a lot about the fact that a relationship ended or there's somebody that you haven't reconnected with. Something may have fizzled out very quickly. There may have been a loss of friends. Um, this could have something to do with children. There could be three of them. But something that you're trapped in your head about. Maybe there's a want for communication or to see things from a different perspective. There could have been a divorce. I'm getting an earth sign here. Taurus. You may be associated. This may be associated with someone who's in the military <clears throat> or who has a very strict frame of mind or something like that somebody may not do well with um, defeat or somebody likes to win even if what the hell are they doing alright let me close the window Capricorn damn what are y'all doing? As soon as I close the window, they're going to be done with it. Well, there's a little comedy out over there. There's that Terrell. Here we go, Capricorn. <laughs> um, this person's kind of cold. Or not dealing well with um, rejection or something like that. What is this here? It could have been a relationship that ended between you and someone. Someone created distance. They started to exclude the other person from their life. I think almost like a ghosting. Something could happen in February or Pisces. Who else is in February? Aquarius. Taurus energy is here. This is given a marriage or um, someone who is... It could have been the man. I want to know why Why weren't you the partner that I needed? It's the Seven of Swords. Somebody started fixing themselves. Somebody, it was like they snuck out of a relationship here. First, I started excluding you from things. Because it's like, I got tired of 
telling you the same thing. I got tired of being half-assed, right? So, if you you gonna hear me by me telling you, or you gonna hear me by me showing you, right? Somebody didn't spend enough time. Somebody worked too much. Always chasing that dollar. They were a very nice person, though. But and that's what that's what brought us together, you know. Oh, they so nice. Good heart, all of that. But just because they nice. A lot of times nice people lie to you in order to hurt to not to avoid hurting your feelings, but they lie to you about big shit. Or it's that little stuff that adds up. You know, it's like nice ain't the only thing I need from you, darling. <laughs> okay. I get nice with customer service and all that surface level shit that I don't have to worry about sleeping in my bed next to an enemy. I don't need nice. I need <clears throat> commitment. I need honesty. I need transparency. I need the truth when it hurts. But I feel like somebody here is like, I gotta let go of this. It's keeping me from feeling good. It's keeping me from, you know, being in a place where I'm attracting good things into my life because my your emotions are an indicator of what you're thinking. And we create in our thought space. So we need that to be working in good fashion. <laughs> okay. Should I just start preparing myself for this ending? You should always be prepared. You should always do your best to prepare yourself, period. I heard um, this guy say, you should have at least six months of your monthly expenses. Like the goal is to have six months of whatever your monthly expenses are on deck. And if you're not there, you work on getting there, right? Sounds big. You know, it's big. But for, for some people, it's attainable. You know what I mean? For anybody, it's attainable. It's whatever you believe you can have, right? Somebody was half-assing you. They'll take it how it resonates, right? And it was getting in the way of how you feel. So that here's the change again. Here's the Scorpio card again. It's time for something to change. Confusion is not a good place to sit in. I feel like somebody was trying to confuse you. And it's like, you know what? At this point, I know what I know. I know I don't feel good about whatever it is. I know it doesn't feel right. I saw what I saw, and that was questionable. And I feel what I feel. And that's all I need, you know? What you need to know, Capricorn, is that brighter days are definitely ahead um, there will be victory. You need to get your rest. You need to hold on to your valuables. Uh, conserve your energy is what it's giving me because just because somebody took you for granted, you know, somebody, this, this person, okay, yeah, this person took you for granted, didn't realize what they had, all that kind of stuff. There was a lot of passive, uh, there wasn't enough communication here. You know, it was a lot of you have not because you ask not. Sometimes we're more focused on telling a person what we don't want versus telling them what we do want. But somebody didn't have the courage to deal with things as they came up. Somebody didn't open their mouth so they use passive aggressive behavior and got fixated on different issues or problems, grudges, whatever. And don't nobody want to fight and I don't even know what you're mad about today kind of thing. Keep putting the work in, Sagittarius. Work on forgiving and grounding yourself. Somebody was involved with a lot of people sexually. And I feel like um, it could be a Libra here. There's not. This could have been a divorce. There's no point, and somebody could be a mother too. There's no point in willfully suffering in the name of love, and don't be the martyr. For what? 
all this shit could be over tomorrow and I'm going to spend today <clears throat> suffering because I love you. Is that love? I don't know. So today I decided to forgive you, not because you're like a better person, but <laughs> or because you're doing what I want you to do, but because I deserve to be at peace. I deserve to be able to bloom and open up and I feel like the moment I feel like the moment that you do that I will hold no hatred, bitterness or resentment towards you at all. I send you love. I send you love. And then a weight is lifted off of you. And then you two are not even on the same frequency anymore. Can't even reach them. And you feel the distance and it feels it feels okay. You feel more empowered and you feel um, more balanced, you know? You start to pour into your own cup. It becomes a rotation of, um, my ex used to say all the time <coughs> that love, how did he do it? It was like, love goes both ways. This is when it's in balance, you know? It almost makes that inf infinity symbol. And it's like you, the, the, the energy should always be, even doing this motion just makes you feel calm, you know, when, when your energy is aligned with where you want to be and then it aligns you with people who also are on that same frequency because I feel like the frequency that you two are on was making you suffer. And at some point, you just get to the point where, you know what? All right. I'm tapping out. And then, boom, now you're in a more powerful place. Now you're feeling very independent. Here's the balance, you know, because we addressed the, air, the elephant in the room. So now we can move forward knowing that that was only, maybe this is just like a little shadow period, you know? It wasn't what it was. Like, maybe you feel... When you feel the remnants or the, the debris of the ending of something or a big shift in your life, you, you can remind yourself it's only a shadow. I will fear no evil. You know what I mean? I will fear nothing from the past. Nothing uh, that has ever happened has anything to do with now. So when you get those little, little debris, it pops up. You remind yourself, the way you stay in this emperor position, this temperance position, you keep your eye on the prize and remind yourself that every day we're born again. What I do today matters the most. What I did yesterday is gone. What I did yesterday is gone. I'm not going to continue investing my time and keeping myself in a place of indecision. No matter what, keep on pushing. Period. Somebody may turn on you for telling the truth, you know, because once you once you raise yourself up in that way, you, you start to get real honest with people because you become determined to keep yourself where you want to be. You know, when you feel better, you, you want to stay there. So you may become very honest with people around you and they may turn on you and that's OK. <laughs> So, I'm going to leave it there, uh, Capricorn. Please like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you or if you just enjoyed the chat. And um, if you like a personal reading, the information for that is in the description box. If you would like to donate to the channel, um, that information is in the comments. So, I will see you in the next one. Ciao.